Hi, Vicki Evans here, Microsoft Certified Trainer and founder of the Red Cape Company. You're about to view an excerpt from our popular 45 Tips in 45 Minute series from Microsoft Office 2010. If you like what you see, stay tuned at the end to find out how you can access all 45 time-saving tips and tricks and download the step-by-step -step instructions for both PC and Mac. Thanks for watching. Enjoy! Tip number 32 is selecting data quickly. And what you'll want to do instead of dragging, so a lot of times we'll do this and drag, 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 and drag, drag, drag. Instead of doing that, if you click anywhere in your list, you have to make sure you're somewhere in your list, control A. Control A is the secret weapon for selecting your entire list. That is one option. If you click out of your list and do control A, it actually selects the whole entire sheet. Okay? So that is number tip number 32. Tip 33, I don't know if you guys are cringing at this list because it's so scrunched, it's like little tiny, tiny, tiny text and it's all scrunched up and I can't see it really well. A lot of times I'll see, let me go ahead and make this bigger. So have you ever done this where you go over here and you kind of eyeball it and you move it a little bit, I think that looks good, and you move it. Rather than try to eyeball it and manually resize, you could use what's known as best fit. If you select the whole worksheet, if I do control A out of here, it actually selects the columns and the rows as well. You, what you'll want to do is position your mouse pointer in between a column, so two columns, and when you get the double headed arrow, double click, and then it will give you that best fit that you're looking for for the columns. Same thing with rows, position your mouse pointer in between two rows, get that double headed arrow, double click, and then it gives you the best fit from height perspective. Um, so that is tip number 33. The next tip, this is the one I want to marry. Seriously, when it's legal to marry a feature in Microsoft Office, I'm going to be the first one to marry this next one. It's called formatting your list as a table. What you'll do is click anywhere in your list, go over here to format as table. Don't worry about the pretty colors. Just stay away from the pretty colors. I want to show you exactly what the functionality that functionality does in an actual table without looking at colors right now. So let me just pick the very first one. It outlines the range that we want. Just confirm your range and click OK. But you can see what it does right off the bat from the functionality of a table object now in Excel is I get the alternating shaded, shaded rows. So that's huge. I get these filter buttons. Tip number 35 is how to filter. If I look here and I want anything involving marketing, I can actually just type in this list here without having to scroll through the list of filters and then find all my marketing stuff here. Or I can do select all. Okay, so I can filter using the auto filter. This is tip number 35. Instantly adding a row. Let's do, let's do, oh, before I do that, I want to show you another benefit. Look at the top of my screen. So you see A, B, C, and D are my headers. Watch what happens when I scroll down. Typically, if you want your headers, like date, payee, category, you would have to freeze your top row. But when with your data format of this table, watch what happens. It actually pushes the headers to the column labels. And I don't have to freeze my, my columns anymore, that top row anymore if I format as a table. So that's a huge time saver there. So let me go to the very end and I'm going to show you how you can find out the total for this column. Because I'm formatted as a table, I get this new ribbon at the top, table design. And there's this option here that says total row. And with that, I can then choose any one of my columns to sum. I can count. I can't count. Excel is going to count. Even if I remove any of this data, notice how it updates the count update. If there's nothing there, then it won't count it. So that's how to instantly add a total row. The other thing, tip number 37, is I do want to show you, now that I've shown you those colors, that you can instantly make it beautiful. Remember that table I had in Word, and I made it purple? I can actually kind of continue and extend my brand over to my Excel documents and make this one purple as well. 
So it's a great way to leverage these table styles from different applications.